lichen. And it's a very special organism that's often overlooked, especially in urban areas like a city. It tends to just blend into the environment. But if you take a closer look, you'll see that it's actually a very special organism. Lichens are actually two organisms, a fungus and an algae living together. It's their close relationship that has allowed them to be so successful that they've covered almost every corner of the earth. Without each other, this success wouldn't be possible. They need each other to survive. The fungus, which forms the lichen body that we call the thallus, acts like a home for the algae to live in. Without it, the algae wouldn't be able to colonise such a wide variety of different environments. The fungus, however, it relies on the superpower of algae to make food from the sun in photosynthesis. It harvests the sugars that the algae makes, which is essentially feeding for two. This seemingly insignificant addition to a tree or a pavement is actually more important to Earth than you might think, and there are three reasons why. Through photosynthesis, lichens fix carbon dioxide from the air, which is a gas that contributes to global warming, and in return, they give out oxygen. The second reason is soil. It's the foundation of life, and lichens help create it. Lichens that grow on rocks dissolve them over time by the acid they produce, which then contributes to the soil. They also keep it healthy for plants and organisms to grow. They take nitrogen from the air and put it into the soil in a form that living things can use. This simple act makes them incredibly important to the ecosystem. But there's something that I think is even more awesome. You can use lichens to find out how polluted your town or city is. They are the champions of air quality communication. You see, lichens are incredibly sensitive to pollution, particularly sulphur dioxide produced from burning fossil fuels and car emissions. The fewer lichens there are tells us that there are higher levels of pollution in that area. You'll also find that the type of lichen changes. In urban areas where there's poorer air quality, you'll find the more pollution tolerant species called the crusty lichens. As the air quality improves, you'll find leafy lichens. Then the real gem to find are the hairy lichens, which can be quite rare. So if you find any, take a deep breath because it'll be some of the cleanest air you'll find in Britain. So you see, lichens are more important than you might think. So next time you go outside, why not look around and try and find the lichens on your way to work or in your garden and try and figure out what they're trying to tell you about the air where you live.